Hello there, Dominic here with an introduction to the pen tool in Modo. I'm going to cover the pen tool in several videos because there is a lot to cover about the pen tool. So let's get started. When you go to the basic tab and right click over here, you can choose pen tool. And by default, it says type polygon. So what happens if I start clicking in the viewport? I start dragging or drawing the contours of one big polygon. When I drop the tool right now, you see Shift A to fit. I have one big polygon. I'm going to press Control 1 to toggle my thirds. Yes, there they are. I'm going to also press O key and go to check independent point size and enlarge my point size a bit so that the points are visible better like that. So this is one big polygon with the pen tool. There were no snapping options so it just drew everything freehand on the word plane. Going to activate it again and start drawing a new polygon and while the tool is active you see the words are yellow and I can interactively edit them and when I select one of these points, you see over here, current point, this point has index 1, this will have index 0, this will have index 3, so it's an array, always starts at 0. I can click and drag on these vertices to interactively place them, or I can manually set a value over here, so for instance if I say minus 800 millimeters, and press enter, you see that third has jumped to x minus 800 millimeters. Now I cannot edit this anymore, but I can start a new pen tool instance, if you will, by shift clicking. Now I have shift clicked a new word, and you see I have a new polygon. What I can do when is, is drag one of these vertices to another word, like that, even if it's an instance that has already been dropped, like that one, you see it snaps to it, and when I let go, it gets merged. Why? Because over here, merge is checked, and I can continue like that, this will get merged, and over here, like that. So, and maybe an one more, over there, and now drop the tool, Press spacebar and you see this is one continuous mesh now. When I double click you see I get one continuous mesh, 17 vertices, but with n guns like that. So again, pen tool in its default state creates n guns and by dragging onto existing verts I can snap to them and with merge on it will merge them. Drop the tool, click in the viewport to deselect everything, pen tool again. Now the option make quads. When I select that option, you guessed it, it makes all quads. And again I can edit this while the tool is active or I can shift click and start a new one like that. And again I can snap it to existing verts like that. And now uh, this gets merged. And again shift click. And I could drag it to this one. You see it snaps to that one. Then over here. And now when I click around the other one automatically gets well, not always, you can click and drag, but the other one automatically snaps to the existing geometries. So interesting for creating this didn't snap. Okay, click and drag it like that. Maybe a bit like that. And you get the idea. With the pen tool, I can quickly create geometry like that. So when it's set in quads, it makes all quads and when 
clicking and dragging to existing verts, it snaps to them and when it merges on, they get merged. So if I go to polygon mode by pressing the spacebar a couple of times, double click this, you see this is one continuous mesh. Just like that. Going to activate the pen tool again. Uh, what if we have here? Wall mode. Wall mode is not apl applicable with type polygons, so I will cover that later in a later video. Inset is also only available when wall mode is been set, so also later video. We have a show section over here. I can say show handles and show numbers, so let's see what that does. So I'm still making quads and when I set show handles, you see the last of the, the selected point gets these handles that I can use to interactively place them or uh, to, to drag them or I can click and hold my left mouse button to interactively draw it. But you see, because handles is on, the, the vertex you select gets these handles and I can use them to drag them around to constrain on a certain axis. Also, when holding control in Modo, you often constrain to a certain axis. So I'm going to click show handles to be off, hover over this third, press down control and click and left mouse button, click and drag to the left. Now, in this case, it does not constrain. Often, when you control, click and drag with certain tools, it gets constrained to a certain axis. In this case, it does not. So, show handles. So, if I want to constrain it to the y-axis, I show handles and I can drag it like that. Or, when I hover around, I can constrain it on the z-axis and on the x-axis. I can also show numbers. This gets, shows the numbers that are the current points. So, this shows 0, 1, 2 and 3. It might be a bit difficult to see right now, because even when I scale it, the numbers stay small, so like that. I don't th think it's that useful. I haven't found a, a use for it, but maybe if you're an architect or something, that show numbers might be useful. We have also show angles, but this is grayed out with type polygons. We have the UV section. Make UVs, and when you check make UVs, you have several options action axis, backdrop item, U and V direction. For these, I suggest you check out the manual and the forum if necessary, because I have never experimented with these before. So by default it's set to backdrop item, uh, then it's the UVs are applicable to a backdrop item if you have one in your scene. I'm going to uncheck this for now. We have pen snap. These become available when snapping is on. Snapping, you can turn on the snapping over here by clicking on the snapping button. Or you can press F11 key and then you get the snapping options and then you can turn on the snapping over here. And then you see by default world axis snap, straight line snap and right angle snap are on. And also raycast handle position. Raycast handle position, when you go to the manual, it has to do with backwards facing polygons, so vertices hidden behind backwards facing polygons will be ignored for snapping, which can be useful if, for instance, you have snapping on. To press Control Z, uh, when you have snapping on and it's and and uh, you have a mesh in your background and it snaps to uh, back facing polygons, then you can turn on raycast handle position and it all will snap to front facing polygons. And of course, you, the pin snap is part of the pin tool, but you also have your regular snapping options. So I could de check these off, but I'm going to show an example of that later on. Uh, I'm going to deselect everything again. Pin tool, Control D to reset. So Control D when you have a tool active, Control D resets your properties for that tool, or you can go to the My Items. Yes, this is a, a, a tab I created. It's a custom layout, but here we have the pen tool. I can right-click on it and say Reset Tool. It's the same 
as when you click over uh, Control D to reset my properties. Um, I think for type polygon I have covered most of it. I just wanted to show you some snapping options, so I'm going to drop the tool for now. Press Control M to clear my scene and press back save to not save. Then going to control click on a cube, shift A to fit it, zoom out a bit, then shift D for subdivide polygons. I'm going to leave it at faceted. OK. Press Ctrl R to reactivate that tool. OK, Ctrl R again to reactivate it. Um, maybe shift S to smooth it a bit. I'm going to set the uh, iterations to 20, click, you see it smooths out my cube and it becomes more rounded. But now I'm clicking and dragging in the viewport to make it even more smooth, like that. Um, perhaps select these and these, Control C to copy, N for new layer, Control V to paste, Shift A to fit in my view. Again, in modo, whenever nothing is selected, everything is selected. So Shift A send fits these polygons on my viewport. Go to the pen tool. Right click over here, pen tool. OK. Control D to reset. Going to say make quads. Going to turn off these pen snap snapping options. And going to turn on other snapping options like uh, to geometry. The mode is set to polygon, that's OK. You can set it to different modes, but this is not a snapping tutorial. Uh, layers background, that is OK. And I want to constraint mode to be background and its screen axis, which is OK. I'm going to say raycast handle position that it doesn't snap to backwards facing polygons. And now I can start clicking and dragging in creating polygons like that. And you see, it snaps to the background geometry, like that. Yep. Shift click to start a new pen tool instance, like that. And I can still edit the vertices position, like that. Shift click. And when I shift click and drag to this point, it gets snapped to it and it's with, with merge on, it gets merged like that. So this is kind of a re topo. And I can snap it over there. This is not actually a modeling tutorial, I just wanted to show you a bit of the pen tool. So this geometry is kind of awful. I'm going to drop the tool now. Select a couple of edges, shift select these edges, press the up arrow key, go to my vertex tab, set position, x0, OK, press escape to clear my tool pipe, press escape again to clear my selection, going to press control 6 and set background layers to invisible, control 1 toggle grid work plane, shift V to mirror on X, OK, apply, press tab, and you see a quick way to create geometry. But in Modo 601 we have the topology pen tool and we're probably going to use that from now on for retopology, but as you see, with the pen tool, it is possible to create geometry. Now, in my geometry in the background layer is invisible, but I can. St it's still. Oh, I turn my snapping options on. I'm going to turn them back on. Okay, background. So geometry, polygon, background, green axis. Okay, so shift click to start a new and you see it still snaps to the background although it should maybe I did something no like you see it does snap so uh, control 6 invisible again so it does snap 
to my background even when it's invisible, which can be handy. Shift click to start a new one, drag it over there to snap it. So now it is invisible, can be very handy. Drop the tool, control 6 wireframe and you see it has snapped to my background so you don't have to have the background layer visible actually. So drop the tool, escape a couple of times to clear everything and pen tool and I think for type polygon I have covered everything I wanted to cover and going to cover the rest of the types in other videos. So this was Dominic, hope you find this useful. Bye for now.